All right, let's take a look at another problem. In this case, we're going to use density as a conversion unit. So in this case, it asks us how many kilograms is 2.25 liters of liquid with a density of 1.25 grams per milliliter. And so naturally we want to go through the problem, and identify you know, what we're given, what we want, and then try to link the two together with conversion units. So if we're thinking about what we want, we want kilograms, right? We want kilograms. At the end, our answer needs to be in kilograms. If we think about what we're given, um, we're given 2.25 liters, right? That's just a normal number, not a conversion unit. If we think about what else we're given, we're given a conversion unit, right? We're given that 1.25 grams is equal to one milliliter. So let's go ahead and start off with the piece of information that is not a conversion unit. And then I'm just gonna start my conversion unit problems. I'm instantly gonna put liters down here in the bottom. That way they cancel out with one another. And now I just have to hunt through my problem or my mind um, and find out where I have liters. I don't see liters anywhere here, but I do see milliliters. And I remember that milliliters and liters can be interconverted. So I know that there's 1000 milliliters is equal to one liter. So one goes on the bottom, 1000 ml goes on the top. Now I'm at ml, right? So I can instantly put ml down here. And then I just hunt through my problem where I see ml. Again, I see it up here and that converts to grams. So that's looking pretty good. So one ml down on the bottom, one, two, five grams on the top. And then I can go ahead and cancel out milliliters with milliliters. Now I'm at units of grams. I'm still not where I want to be, which is kilograms. So now I just have to do one more conversion. I know this conversion as well. I know that there are 1000 grams is equal to one kilogram. And so then I can just go ahead and remember, I already knew that grams is going to go down here because I've got to cancel it out. And I know it's 1000 grams per one kilogram. Cancel out grams and grams. Plug and chug that through your calculator. You'll get 2.8125 kilograms. And then we think about sig figs. We're doing just multiplication and division. Um, in this case, this value right here has only three sig figs. And this value right here has only three sig figs. The other two are defined conversion units. So they have an unlimited number of sig figs. So at the end of the day, we need three sig figs. So we round that down to 2.81 kilograms as our final answer. And of course, remember with these types of problems on an exam or anywhere where you need to show your work, you must do it in this format because it's an easy to follow way 